Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arete Chiropractic uh, coming at you live with the research moment today. Uh, this is a really interesting paper and uh, kind of uh, got inspired to share this uh, through a couple of uh, routes. One was uh, the other day I was just talking with a patient, been under care for eight weeks. He um, He's been, you know, working to control his high blood pressure for um, you know, a few years and didn't want to go the medication route and, uh, you know, did it, tried to work on it through diet and exercise and just, uh, didn't, didn't quite get there. Uh, didn't get the result he was looking for. It was still had high blood pressure, had made some good changes and, and, uh, got under upper cervical care. And, uh, after eight weeks, he has noticed that his blood pressure has normalized. And so, uh, you know, that doesn't happen in every case, but uh, it's, a, it's a good introduction to, you know, why I'm, I'm talking about this. So, and then the other, the other piece to this is the other day, a, a mentor of mine, Dr. Tom Forrest, he posted on his uh, uh, weekly newsletter a, a great paper titled Atlantoaxial Misalignment Causes High Blood Pressure in Rats, a Novel Hypertension Model. Um, really uh, kind of out of the way uh, uh, to, way to study this. Um, so th this was actually done by acupuncturists in China um, who do manual, ma manual manipulation. So it's not quite specific upper cervical work. Um, it's more just, uh, you know, uh, kind of manipulating the spine. But, um, uh, you know, this is a, a perfect example of, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of proving and showing that uh, misalignment in the top neck bone, C1 and C2, can actually cause the blood pressure to increase. Um, and and uh, they did a really good study here. Uh, so, you know, why did they do this? Um, one, uh, in the past, uh, it's been observed that patients or uh, cases in the past with cervicogenic disease, so uh, places where or, or patients that had problems with the neck, either neck pain, headaches, uh, migraines, um, other other neck issues, restricted range of motion, um, had developed high blood pressure over time, and uh, that there was some somewhat of a correlation there, uh, not causation but correlation, right? And so. Um, uh, you know, what they wanted to do is study that and see, well, because they're, they're acupuncturists and they do some manipulation along with their acupuncture and they had noticed that they had seen changes with, with blood pressure. Um, and back in 2008, Dr. Marshall Dickholtz uh, and uh, Dr. Backris had done an amazing study uh, that so showed a very, very um, statistically significant change in, in hypertension where the blood pressure came down and level out, leveled out uh, in patients with upper cervical chiropractic specific corrections to C1 and C2. Um, so they want to study this. They want to find out, you know, what's really going on. So what they did was they took rats. Now, rats are not humans, um, and uh, they're, they're, but they are mammals, and they have similar structures. So um, what they did was they took and they used staples, uh, which sounds awful, but they took these little staples because you could see it on x-ray, and they put the staple in and shifted over C1 uh, so that it was out of alignment. And they measured previous to the surgery uh, that all their blood pressure, uh, systolic and diastolic, were normal. And then post uh, surgery with the staple, the six, mil six millimeter staple, which that sounds brutal, uh, but six millimeter staple uh, post surgery, uh, atlantoaxial misalignment, so misalignment C1 and C2, significantly showed immediate changes in blood pressure. Uh, now, they took the staples out. What happened? Blood pressure went back. Systolic and diastolic went right back. Um, really interesting. So it, it showed a, a, a significant, significant connection between misaligning C1 and C2 uh, and, and then the problem. Now, okay, all right, so why, why, what is the, the theory here? Why is that happening? because it's not really just bone out of place. What they found, they did that study on rats where they actually took and they stretched. Um, so we'll talk about this. So the anatomy, okay? So we got the anatomy here. So we've got um, 
there we go. The craniocervical junction consists of the joints right up here. So right up here. And we're talking about C1, <clears throat> C1 and C2, these joints right here. And then we've got the brain stem right here. And there's a lot of deep neurology that controls the autonomic, autonomics, control heart rate, they control blood pressure, uh, they control breathing, they control a lot of things. And so if C1 or C2 could be out, that could be a problem. Um, but what we found is that it's not necessarily bone out of place puts pressure on, on blood vessels and cuts off blood flow. What we're actually saying, uh, because they, they had done that study in rabbits, uh, where they had twisted uh, the artery. So there's an artery that goes through C1. Um, it's called the vertebral artery. And they had twisted C1 or, or pulled on, on that artery. And that had not shown significant changes in blood pressure. So it wasn't just twisted the bone, pulled the artery problem. Um, it was more a case of, if I can uh, break this down, uh, a what they call the superior cervical ganglia. So there is this nerve bundle that is the uh, sympathetic uh, control of some of the autonomics right up in, next to and, and right at uh, C1 right here, C1 and C2. So this guy right here, superior cervical ganglia, and here is C1 right here. So you, you can see the, the connection, right? And so now what they say is, okay, yes, yeah, so there's a misalignment and it's firing that su superior cervical ganglia up into the brain and it's actually turning on uh, norepinephrine, which raises blood pressure. And that's part of the autonomics. And so you're hypersensitizing and firing up into the brain, the superior cervical ganglia, and uh, it's increasing norepinephrine and decreasing levels of acetylcholine. And so they can see these chemical changes pre and post, and uh, that is their hypothesis. So um, not just bone, you know, bone out of place pushing on a, 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 a vessel, but more a nerve firing, hypersensitizing up into the brain. And this is what we're finding with, with uh, the work that we do in chiropractic and specifically upper cervical chiropractic. This is about brain health. We are changing the brain. So, you know, this study comes back and it says, okay, you know, if you've got a field of patients or people that have this, this uh, um, hypertension problem and then you have maybe neck pain at the same time or decreased range of motion in the neck, doesn't it make sense to just you know, check and see if the neck is out of alignment and then maybe do a correction and, and see if that lowers the blood pressure rather than doing a medication which has side effects. So, you know, I'm not saying there's not a place for that, but, uh, uh, you know, there's always a place for, for uh, uh, medication. But, uh, you know, if we can get to it early, and they found that too, the earlier they got to it, the better things got. So, um, you know, when things stick around for a long time, they're harder to shift because the nerves tend to... Uh, you know, uh, deepen their, their pathways and it's harder to shift them out of their pathways. So if we can get to it early, if we can correct that upper neck misalignment, we've seen good changes in blood pressure, uh, uh, high, uh, high blood pressure, bringing it down, normalizing it. So if you have questions, give us a call. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And this paper, again, really uh, you know, out of left field, but uh, Atlanto axial mis mis misalignment causes high blood pressure in rats, a, a novel hypertension model. Um, look that paper up. It's, it'll be a, a link to the bottom here. And if you have questions, give us a call and uh, have a great day.